Good afternoon. Just kind of nervous. Let that out there. My name is Michael Nunes. Uh, born and raised in Brockton. My parents did come from Cape Verde Islands. Um, I lived in Ward 7 my whole life. I'm 28. Um, and I really do have real changes and goals for the city. And I envision a city with big dreams. You know, there's cities around us with new fire stations, new police stations, better parks, new parks, everything better than Brockton. People ask me, where are you from? I'm from Brockton. And they go, oh, Brockton? I want more like, oh, Brockton. That's the type of Brockton in the city that we want. Uh, so I envision a uh, better DW field park, of course. Uh, new paved roads, we need it. Um, it's hard to run in there and jog. You might trip over a pothole. Um, I envision swan boats, you know, paddle boats, NDW, archery, activities for our children. I'm tired of driving up and down Oak Street with traffic. I envision two lanes. I don't understand why it's sectioned off two lane, one lane, two lane, one lane, all the way down. It's wide enough. I took my time and went out there and measured it, believe it or not. It's wide enough, okay? It's wide enough. Now, if you start from Cape Cod all the way up, cities are changing intersections. They're getting rid of red lights. It's a maintenance we don't need. They're adding roundabouts, not rotaries, but roundabouts. A lot smaller, about 150 diameter. And now we can have one of those roundabouts at the end of Oak Street when it's double lane and Main Street. Reduces the traffic that's there. Sometimes I wait from Dairy Queen all the way down to the lights, probably for like 10 minutes before I pass it, honestly. And there's people with that right lane trying to cut you off. It's a hazard. It's a safety hazard. Um, also, we have the Westgate Mall, which is real good for us. I understand I'm pro-casino. I don't know if anybody here is pro-casino, but I'm pro-casino. I think the Westgate Mall could transform into a casino resort right off the highway. We keep the stores in there. We keep the local business in there and charge them less for rent and stuff like that. And we have a whole resort in Brockton. And that's where the tax money will come from to provide for our streets our schools, our police, and a new fire station. Rather than trying to sell the Howard School on Main Street, we could fund it to be the new fire station, the headquarters that we need. And we could turn the first fire station with electricity into a museum as we deserve. We deserve more arts in our city. For example, the George Snow Park on East and Main. Nice lights they fixed but they don't take care of it. The grass is overgrown. The bush is overgrown. And we can update that and attract more people to live in our communities. Thank you. Michael Newman.